Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Jar Productions, and in this video I'd like to show you how to make a cinemagraph with InDesign and N5. A cinemagraph is part animated content and part static content, where the motion of the subject is emphasized by making the rest of the cinemagraph still. Many cinemagraphs are created using Photoshop, Animate, Premiere Pro, or After Effects, but you can make them using InDesign and N5. Here's a cinemagraph of a butterfly where it opens and closes its wings while the background remains still. You can compare it to the original video where there is movement in the background. Let's jump over to InDesign to see how to make the cinemagraph. First, let's place a video. I'd recommend using a video that was shot using a tripod so that the camera doesn't move. Also, make sure that the video is an MP4. If it isn't, you can use the Adobe Express Quick Action to convert it to an MP4. You can use a different Adobe Express Quick Action to trim the video if needed. I'll fit the frame to the video and duplicate the video in the Layers panel. Let's hide the top layer and select the bottom layer. We want this video to automatically play. Because it's the first page of this document, we'll want to use the N5 Video Widget, N5, Interactive Widgets, Video, and set it to Autoplay and Mute. That's the workaround for browsers that restrict autoplaying video without any user interaction. We'll also want to set the video to loop so that it will continue to play. You can decide whether or not you want other content to play at the same time as the cinemagraph by selecting, or not selecting, the Pause Other Media During Playback option. We'll also want to make sure that the controller skin is set to None. Let's hide this layer, show the top layer, and select it. We want this video to turn into an image and cover only the areas that we want to remain still. If the first frame isn't the one that you want to be your still image, you can use the Media panel, Window, Interactive, Media, to select a different frame. Drag the slider to the frame that you want to use. Set Poster Frame to From Current Frame and use the Refresh icon to update the frame shown in our layout. To set this video up to export as an image and cover the parts of the video that we want to be static, we can turn it into a custom shape by adding and moving anchor points. I'll select the Add Anchor Point tool and add four anchor points to the bottom of the video. The first and last points will stay where they are, and I'll use the Direct Selection tool to select the middle two and move them up. Now that the video is in a custom shape, N5 will export it as a still image. When I show the video underneath it again, then only the exposed portion of the video will appear to play. Let's save and export. And here we have our cinemagraph created using InDesign and N5. Let us know in the comments how you'd like to use cinemagraphs in your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.